Guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to connect your PlayStation Remote to your computer. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to this website. I've actually put the link in the description so you can just go to it and pretty much once you're on it, you want to click right on this drop down button here and it'll come off all of these. If you have a Windows 8, there is no option for it at all. So you're going to choose Windows 7 and what bit you have. I want to choose 64 bit because my computer is a 64 bit. Okay, now since I've selected that, I'm going to download it. It's pretty straightforward once you're on it, so I'm pretty sure you can handle that yourself. Anyway, click X and you want to go straight to the DS4 launcher. I'm going to put a link for that in the description too. Anyway, once you're here, click on Home. And you should have a cord that came with your PS4 and you, that's the cord that actually hooks up to the remote and with that you want to put that into the computer and once that's on the computer it should the remote actually should come up here once you've had the export, Xbox input installed and it should come up anyway since mine is a Bluetooth it's not going to come up see so you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to type in Bluetooth click on Bluetooth settings and it should show. Okay, it should say wireless. Well, for me, it'll say wireless controller, and that'll say paired. I'm just going to remo remove device so I can show you. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your PS4 remote and hold share and p the PS button. Hold that for about five seconds until it starts blinking. Okay, mine's is now blinking, so I'm just going to wait for it to pop up. Okay, it's here. I'm going to click pair, and it should pair gonna come on with the loading light. Okay, it's loading. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to my desktop. Okay, now it's right here. You wanna click right there. And for some people it actually has something when they click on it, it goes up. And that's actually something to do with the profile. So if you actually do have that when you start, what you wanna do is you wanna go to profiles and it's right here is say new profile, whatever you've named it. You wanna click on delete profile. And then when you go back to home the drop down arrow, click new profile, and it should come with all of this. Okay, the way to test it is, if it's actually connected, you're, you should be able to use the touchpad on your PlayStation 4 remote. And this thing that I'm actually using the mouse with is my PS4 remote. It's actually installing right here, but it's actually still working. And if you ever have a problem, there's actually a solution, and I'm not sure if this is going to work for most of you, but it works half the time. With your PS4 remote, before you plug it in, or if you've already plugged it in, and well, and you've got this problem, what you want to do is you want to unplug the actual cable, and you want to plug it into the PS4 remote only, and then once it's plugged in, you've got to plug that into the computer. You can't actually keep it plugged in after the cable's in the computer. But that's only something if it doesn't work. And there's also another way to test if it doesn't work. You can click type notepad or whatever typing program you got. Notepad. And you can change one of the things into a keyboard selection. So I'm going to change it to T. And now, since my triangle is T, if I click triangle, it should come up with T. Now that's just going to keep going with T. Okay, now I'm going to click tape. And once I'm done, I am going to. Well, I'm not going to be doing anything right now because my DS4 has actually connect, disconnected. Okay, and also I'm going to show you something else for you to on Windows 7. To click to connect the other Bluetooth device. If you have a Bluetooth. Well, if you have Bluetooth on your computer, you want to go to control panel. You want to click on. It should be okay. Hardware and sound, and then device and printers. And it should say add device. And like I said before, you hold down share and the PS button. It should pop up after a little bit. It take a little bit. It won't go straight away for this one. Since I've already added it, I'm not gonna add it. But that's for if you haven't already added yours. 
now with the actual mapping of the remote each game actually sometimes has its own mapping for example um, most steam games have a mapping of the remote so if I go to profile if I go to the actual profile the profile okay it has the mapping right here now some steam or other games they actually have every button configured to the Xbox input of this like the Xbox layout and you can actually play with the remote you got now the PS4 remote but with other games you can't so you're gonna have to actually map all of this to the correct um how would you say it the actual okay I don't exactly know how you'd say it but the actual letters so say if this was oh the keys that's what we would say anyway say if this was if you want to move forward and you had to move forward with W you click on that and you choose W and you can move forward right left and down and not just that you can actually change it to the mouse if you click on to this and you click on stick movement and you click on mouse you can actually change it to all of this and fourth cl click and fifth click don't work if you try to click on it it won't work you would actually hover over here it took me a while to figure it out but you actually figured out it a while. if you look there's like a little centered click i didn't actually realize until before and there's a little centered click in the middle and you can click on that okay for now i'm just gonna keep that i'll just keep it as it is anyway remember to drop a like and i'll see you next tutorial see ya